Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now. This is for the week of August 21st through the 27th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up for you. I want to thank all my subscribers, watchers, comments, likes, and new clients. So thank you so much. You guys have been keeping me busy. This is for Virgo, the 21st through the 27th. This has been intended to be a love reading. I wasn't going to do the weeklies, but the demand was high, so I decided I'll do them if I can. The 21st through the 27th. Ooh, there we go. This is intended to be a quickie, so I'm going to try to make it quick. Uh, a couple of them didn't work out to be quick because I have so much to say. <laughs> Yours probably won't be too quick either, as I can see. You know, it looks like that there is some love here or something like that. Um, yep, there is definitely some love here, which is good. It looks like there's some happiness. Perhaps you've been waiting. This is the 21st to the 27th of August. Perhaps you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for some happiness. You've been waiting for some bliss. Um, it seems like it's been a long time coming, but it looks like you are about to feel very, very good. Probably at the beginning of the week, you're going to be feeling really good. Like, you know, um, content. You're going to be feeling content, happy, enthusiastic, vibrant. Um... I think that you're going to be looking very attractive. Um, you're going to be shining. Um, I see that you might have an unexpected choice in love that comes into the picture. This could be somebody who's mature. And um, they offer you complete emotional support. Um, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. It could also be a... Um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. <laughs> Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Um, I think this is probably you, though. This is probably you getting that unexpected choice in love with... Um, it could... I'm, I'm leaning towards a fire sign, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo person. Could be a Cancer... Scorpio or Pisces, but either way, it's an unexpected choice in love where you didn't even know that this person um, existed. You know what I mean? This is an unexpected choice. All of a sudden, this love comes at you, and you intended to go in one direction, but the magnetic pole was, was strong in the other direction, and it's a little bit of a shock. Okay, so that's what this unexpected choice in love is. Uh, it's not who you think it is. All right? Um, and it does affect your independence. Here we have you being independent. This is a breakthrough. This is an awakening, an epiphany. Something is about to happen that is going to change this independence if you're single. If you aren't single, um, maybe there's another person. I mean, that's just what I'm, I see. Okay, because I see right here. This is the, this is somebody who takes action. This is a man or a woman. I mean, we have several people in this reading. We have, this right here is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I think that they are part of this unexpected choice in love. I think that they are going to be part of your home eventually. If they're not already, they could already be a part of your home. Either way, this person is going to affect your home life. All right. They could move in with you eventually. You know what I mean? They could be somebody that you are soulfully connected to. All right. Could be somebody that you work with. Um, they could bring you your wishes. All right. They could. It could be your dream come true. It could definitely be something that shakes up your independence. It's actually a breakthrough in love. Definitely could be a soulmate absolutely could be a soulmate but you have a lot of pessimism you're like i'm not so sure about this you know when it comes up you just you're so pessimistic about it okay it's like i you know i'm just don't believe it you know so that's what it is 
here you i mean you have these nines you're so close to finding this soulmate but your inner you have these own inner demons i mean here we these are serious inner demons this is feeling wounded feeling hurt feeling pessimistic be, depression um this is anguish this is losing sleep worry stress you know and that right between this soulmate card i mean right on each side of the soulmate card you have the these you know issues so it feels like you're gonna have an, a breakthrough you're gonna have an epiphany um thank god that maybe it it allows you to release some of the stress that you've been carrying around um anyway this is the 21st through the 27th um and by the way the stress or the stress is caused by your thoughts all right and your thoughts about this is this can't be true or this will never happen you know the stress is caused by your thoughts that are working overtime okay your thoughts are working overtime and um I think that you're taking a lot of time to think about things and decide what it is you want to do. And and I think maybe you, you could be even overanalyzing the situation. Um, I see that you are definitely needing time to recuperate or rejuvenate your soul, all right? Um, But I see that your wishes could definitely be fulfilled. That's for darn sure. And there's a lot of happiness this week. Okay? I think there's an unexpected choice that shakes up your independence. Even though you're pessimistic, you know, and that in your head can be a mess at times. You know, that's just the way it is. Your head can be a mess at times especially regarding your soulmate perhaps you've been thinking there isn't anybody for you really you know that your soulmate doesn't exist um maybe that's what you're you're feeling like um but i see that your soulmate could be right around the corner if they're not here already but they're not who you expect okay <clears throat> this is my after tarot I read it the way I feel like reading it. I didn't read the book. It's a lot like the Rider Waite, but it's the afterthoughts of the situation. I'm trying to keep this as quick as possible. Um, so here, this is where you are. This is a triumph. This is a victory. This is where you put yourself in the driver's seat and things start, start to change. There's forward movement and things happen pretty quickly because things have changed. Okay, this is the after tarot, it's the afterthought. Things are really happening fast. Things have changed. I think happiness comes back in your, to your life. Perhaps security, perhaps you're not having any worries financially. Perhaps. Okay, it looks like your wishes could be fulfilled, but there's always a but, isn't there? There is still, you are still feeling betrayed. You're still feeling betrayed over something or disgusted. You just don't trust. It's almost like it's safer. It's safer to just do the things that keep people away. You know, it's safer to push people away. But you have that motherly nature, okay? You have that caring, loving, beautiful um, soul. All right. So if that if you've lost any of that, make sure you try to bring it back. Okay? But I don't think you really need to because this unexpected love, whoever this is, whoever that you didn't think loved you or that you didn't see coming, they see your beautiful soul. They see your mothering side. They see your caring person. They see your beautiful soul. All right? So there is forward movement in love towards you. Okay? <clears throat> which can lead to a commitment, all right? It looks like good fortune is absolutely positively on your side. 
Things should be going very, very well by the end of the week. I think things should be turning in your favor. I think that you should be feeling very comfortable in your life and at home. All right. I think it looks really, really, really good. It really does. The only the only problems I see are is your thoughts in your head that cut that are being it's over analyzing. I see that you over you are over analyzing a partnership too much. It's you know there's too much over analyzing. You should just the we let it let it happen because it's good. It is good. Um It is safe for you to love. I don't need that card to tell you that. <clears throat> I think that you're scared to love. But I think you are starting to master your emotions. Okay? You're starting to master your emotions. And take back control of who you are. And face reality. You're starting to. And whoever this person is. This partner of yours. That probably is your soulmate sees your beautiful soul okay they see how beautiful you are inside and out and i think that your home life should be very comfortable and content at this time and i think that you're going to be feeling very giving and mellow i think it's going to be a very mellow week And it's just a normal week, you know, where your thoughts get the best of you. Sometimes. I mean, not a lot. Not a lot. It's overall a very happy, good week, you know. But then every once in a while you have this, this, these thoughts that um, cause little bouts of anxiety, you know. And it's regarding your, your love. It's regarding your soulmate. But there's, it's a very positive time in your life. So whatever is happening, it's very positive. So, Virgo, I don't know who this will resonate with. Um, we shall see what happens. I look forward to seeing, um, and I will talk to you soon.